Kata Concordia, Tishok, no one in Sinn Fein will take any personal pleasure from the resignation of Arlen Shatter. He has a spouse, he has a family, and a, a wider family, I am sure, who are very upset by this uh, development. Ak Tanukt Tagha Konkin Lejani Akoran Nismo Bru or Arlen Shatter. Marasol did his dinner a Oro male and pubble, the Tamil father and Nish Augustus Lear, Nakwell Jaru, Lesh Fos. This resignation, he shall comes as we await the outcome of separate investigations into the bugging controversy at GSOC and the claims of guard of malpractice by whistleblowers. And it follows a period in which Alan Shatter's judgment on a whole range of serious policing and justice issues has undermined public confidence. But Taoiseach, he wasn't in it on his own. You supported him. The Tanishta supported him. You resisted very robustly and rubbished efforts by Sinn Féin by our justice spokesperson, Patrick McLaughlin. Sensible suggestion to deal with these matters independently of the Minister in a transparent and an appropriate way. Indeed, Labour and Fine Gael voted confidence in uh, the Minister. So it wasn't just the Minister who presided over this recent series of controversies, though he was a, a very central actor and the author of a litany of mistakes. He did defame the two Garda whistleblowers. He did mislead the Dal. You also uh, set out in an inappropriate way the uh, need for the, G, the, for the Ombudsman to go to the Minister, but in fact that wasn't uh, the case. He allowed false statements to stand. He cracked these only when it was politically expedient for him to do so. And he and you actively sought to minimise the concerns of GSOC that its offices were being bugged. So Taoiseach, could you tell me if you expect other resignations? And could you tell me if you sought the Minister's resignation? <laughs> the answer to both questions uh, is no. Um, obviously, when the report is published, you and everybody else will have a chance to read it, an opportunity to debate it here. I hope that we can conclude on the terms of reference for the Commission of Investigation, which the report recommends. I point out here that I said in the House here on behalf of Government um, that these were serious matters that would be treated seriously. Government responded immediately by appointing Mr. Giron SC. Uh, to look into these matters, uh, I indicated to the House that when his report uh, would, would, uh, would be sent to me, uh, that I would receive it, uh, read it, and see that it was published, and following through on that, uh, and the, uh, the report will be published in accordance with, with the parameters that he has set in respect of privacy and, and these matters, and will be published on Friday morning. Um, so, uh, the Minister, having, having uh, read the report, having considered its implications, um, has sent me his letter of resignation, which I have accepted with, with, with regret. So, you didn't ask for his resignation, as I understand it, but in 2009, when former Fianna Fáil Justice Minister Willie O'Dea made defamatory remarks to a journalist about Sinn Féin Limerick Council candidate Morris Quinlevin, and Minister O'Dea swore on an affidavit that he had not made the remarks and then retracted it when a journalist produced a tape recording of his comments. You tabled a motion of no confidence in Willie O'Dea. You sought, quite rightly, Willie O'Dea's resignation at that time. Now surely that rationale must apply to this case. It couldn't differ. Last night, like Tommy Wynnett, you and the Tanish were standing by your man. If the Minister had not offered his resignation, he would still be the Minister. So where's the rationale between your position in 2009 and your position now? People here, Stop, will you stay quiet, please? Pe people here, and it's come up regularly in canvassing, have long since lost confidence in the Minister. But as I said earlier, you see, I, I think this is bigger than the Minister. Because there, there are ways and means of dealing with these issues which depoliticise them and which are transparent and which allow people to have confidence. Like everybody makes mistakes. But a system that allows citizens to have a sense of control Thank you. over their politicians then will prevent the type of catastrophe that we have uh, seen. Now I'm sure that you will agree with me 
that all of these events highlight the need for a fundamental reform of the administration of justice and the Gardaí, and not to be pulled into it, to do it as a reforming government. And you, Taoiseach, have failed to do that. So I think it's very clear, and I think this will be borne out as these reports are published, that Minister Shatter is not the only one who is culpable. I think that will become clear, and people will remember how you and Labour, how you and the Tanishta stood by, reinforced, rubbished, dismissed, joint, genuine efforts to try and sort these matters out in a, in a way which would be in keeping. So I ask you again, I ask you, do you expect other resignations? Do you expect resignations from the department? Thank you. I will already answer that question for you. Uh, in respect of the uh, Fianna Fáil deputy they mentioned, I, I, I would say with respect that um, Alan Shatter is not uh, Deputy Willie O'Dea. Um, and uh, obviously uh, the Minister considered the implications of the report. As I said to you, um, the GSOC, the Garda Síochána Ombudsman Commission, uh, did not uh, cooperate with Mr Gearan. Uh, the terms of reference included the fact that um, Mr. Gearn was authorised to interview Sergeant McCabe and any other such person as may be considered necessary and capable of providing relevant and material assistance. Despite that being a particular uh, element of the terms of reference, um, at no time was uh, Minister Shatter interviewed by Mr. Gearn. Uh, even so, uh, the report uh, was concluded and prepared, and he understands that. Um, so while documentation would have been forwarded from the department uh, to the senior council, um, he, he, he decided um, not to interview the, the, the minister. Um, and for that reason, uh, for, the, for the reason of the conclusions of the report of inadequate uh, use of the minister's statutory powers and responsibilities for independent investigation of matters, uh, the minister uh, decided himself uh, that he should tender his resignation, which, as I say, I uh, have accepted with regret. And this was, uh, uh, I, I, um, for, um, over my many years in politics, I've, I've never seen uh, anybody with a work ethic displayed by uh, Alan Shatter in terms of his, uh, of his um, work and commitment uh, to his responsibility. Deputy Daly.